Hello friends, this is Yassi Munir and in this video I am gonna show you what is the difference between the last component and functional component. I'll give you some example of it. So let's start. First of all, you have to know about uh, some theory just like I create here a new text name difference. This is functional component and the other one is class component so the major difference is in functional component this is just a plain javascript function that accept props as an argument don't worry i'll explain you with an example too and what is the last component the last component basically requires you to extend from react try to require you extend from react and also create a render function And the most important difference is functional component is stateless component, stateless component, and class component are stateful component. This is the major difference between class component and functional component. So let's first of all go to a syntax. So let's test the syntax first. I open my Visual Studio Code and in my app.js, this is basically a class component. Let's create both components in a new screen. So let's create here a new folder name screen. And inside this screen, I create new file. Name it as function component.js. Write as capital. That is the code that you create a file, a JS file. Okay. After that, create a new file. Name it as class component.js. First of all, I write a simple stack for my functional component. For functional component, simply import use state from React and import view that from React Native. Okay. Now let add here a syntax and the syntax for functional component start with const. You write here also a function and the name of the function just like check. You can write it like this, but I didn't use this syntax here. I use here an arrow function that used in React. Okay, so for that I write here const. I use constant variable here and name it as user is equal to parentheses is equal to operator sign and then complete basically this is an arrow function and i export that function here user export default user yes go save so this is the basic syntax for my functional component i write here also a return and inside this return I give you a simple that that's it that is a functional component you can also pass props in as an argument like prop that's it for functional component so let's write the syntax for class component copy all this paste it here remove this right here Class user then component curly braces and inside this curly braces we use a render function here. This is the major function which we use in class component and inside this render I write here return same like our functional component and inside this return I add here a view avoid view. Okay. 
that's it for class component that is basically the syntax of class component control c and that is the simple syntax of functional now let's write an example a full thread like example with states and stateless component now i explain you what is state and stateless component so first of all let's start inside this function component write what is stateless component mean for that simply i write here on a bracket write here value and set value that is basically a hook which i use here is equal to use straight parenthesis and inside this parenthesis i use curly brackets if you want to pass an array you use here an array here and inside this array you can use curly braces for your objects but i use here a simple example so i write here curly braces and inside this curly braces i pass email and that is void and password that is also void for now so this is our stateless component so let's create this same structure in class component how we write this type of syntax in class component for that you have you have to use here a constructor pass here prop and inside this props we use this dot oops we use super right here props and inside this constructor i use a state that's why it's called stateful components this dot state is equal to and curly brackets so this is the syntax of class component right here email and password so that is the difference between functional component and class component now let's add a full fledged example in both classes simply i write here name and give here a name just like yes and inside this render function i just simply want to call this yes is or a dot name that's it that's it basically for calling this function simply write here return And right here, name. Or we didn't give here anything. Okay. Now I have to set this value to this same name. It's like Yasu. Okay. So I have to write here a function. That function that is inside a view y set value is equal to value is yes so now these two examples are same this is a functional component and this is a class component and you can see i use here a this function but inside my functional component i didn't use any function just like i use here a set value thank you for today's video